Welcome to Crema Media's Resources Watch, the weekly video roundup of the events and people making and shaping the news in the mining industry. This week, we opened Redbug Copper Mine on the way to becoming Copper 360's cash cow. Anglo Gold interim dividend up 450%, half year free cash flow lifts from $206 million. And Argentina is the next frontier for copper growth, says Glencore. The revived Reedberg copper mine is on its way to becoming the cash cow of Copper 360. Copper was last mined from this mine in 1983. So, you know, it's almost four decades since copper was brought out of this mine and, and we started it up again last week. So we're very happy with that. And I think in terms of what can be expected, we're slowly building up from about 12,000 tons of production this month to about almost 46,000 tons of production over the next three to four months. And so really, Reedberg is now going to become our, our cash cow for the company. Gold mining company Anglo Gold Ashanti reported a soaring interim dividend improvement and strong free cash flow uplifted by the elevated gold price, operational improvement and cost reduction. I'm very pleased to report a strong operating and financial results for the half year. This results show the hard work that has been done by so many to improve the fundamentals of our business, to drive productivity benefits and to manage costs. Most of our tier one assets recorded a solid performance driven both by higher tons and higher grades mined. At the tier two mines, we continue to drive full potential initiatives to enhance asset performance. Now that we're well into the full potential execution, we have seen our costs trend lower. We are the only gold major that has reported so far to post an improvement in cash costs at the half. That means that we're able to capture the benefit of stronger gold prices. Revenues up more than $400 million on year, all of which has flowed directly into the bottom line. We're building a strong operating momentum into the second half, when we expect to deliver not only further production and cost improvements, but significantly stronger cash flows. Glenn Cole believes Argentina is the next frontier for copper growth. Argentina is the next frontier for copper growth, no question. We've seen the BHP Landin deal there. There's a number of projects there, and it looks like a very exciting jurisdiction to invest in. Our projects there are world-class. El Pachon, or the Greenfield, is just enormous. We've mentioned before we've had a stop our drilling program because the more we drill, the more we find. We don't need to find any more. And Mara being effectively an extension of the old uh, of the old operations that we have there. It's a low capital intensity brownfield project, and that's likely to be first to market when the market needs it. So in addition to the growth that EVR brings us, we, we have significant growth, another up to a million tons of copper uh, that we can bring on, and we will bring on over time as the market needs it. For mining news as it breaks, stay logged on to miningweekly.com and register for our free daily newsletter.